Let's take a look at our user entity. Here we are using the entity decorator from type ORM. And we have three columns. We have the ID, the first name, the last name. And here is the important one for this video. That is the one-to-many relationship between the user and the phone. So the user has a list of phones. And we have an index file where we are basically are going to create a new user. We are going to create a new phone. And we're going to add the phone to the list of phones of the user. We are going to use the user repository. Here we are getting that user repository using the connection object. And we are saving the user in the database. Let's take a look at the database. So here we don't have any tables. So I'm going to run npm run start. And we're going to see the tables and the data. Let's refresh the tables. OK, here we have the user table with a single record with an ID, first name, and last name. And we have the phone with a reference to the user. What if we get the list of existing users using the repository? So let's create a new constant. Let's close this. So this is users equals to user repository dot find. This is going to retrieve the list of existing users from the database. And I'm going to log the list of users. Console log users. users. Okay, I'm going to remove everything from here. This and this. And this is a wait. Okay, I'm going to run this. Okay, if we take a look at the console, this is going to log the user but nothing about the phones. So it's going to log the ID, the first name, the last name, but it's not going to log the list of phones. So the way to force the query to get list of phones, or one way to, of doing it is adding eager equals true. Using this property. Now, if we run this query again, npm run start. Now we're going to see that the user is going to include the phones. As we can see here, we have the ID, the first name, last name, and the list of phones. So this is the idea behind using eager to get the user and the phones that are attached to the user. OK, I'm going to enable login here. Just to see how the query is going to join the two tables when we use the eager property. So let's run this again. And as you can see here, we're going to have the join between the user table and the phone table here. If I set eager to false, so this is the default setting. And if I run this again, so here we can see that it's going to do a select from the user, but it's not going to join the user and the phone tables. Going back to our user entity, the way that TypeORM provides to implement lazy relations is by using promises. So here, this would be a promise for the list of phones. And I'm going to set the lazy property here to the one-to-many relation, and this will be true. OK, now let's go to our index file. And here I'm going to get the first element of the list, so the first user, and then I'm going to get the phones using the promise. So this is const user equals to users, and this is the first element of the array. And now I'm going to get the phones for that user, which is phones, and this equals to await user dot phones. And now I'm going to log the phones. So this is console dot log. And this is user phones. And I'm going to pass the phones here. Okay, now let's run this. npm run start. And as we can see here, we get the list of users without the phones. And then using the promise here, we get the list of phones. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.